Hello guys, hope all of you will be doing well. Uh, today I'm with some new reviews and uh, new comments on your IELTS speaking section along with the speaking test I'm going to conduct right now from all of you one by one. Uh, that's why the test is a little bit uh, late. Uh, anyhow, uh, these comments are going to help you a lot. Along with that, uh, the exams are also from recent one of the uh, month of December. So I collected from the recent exam some of the past papers and uh, I'm going to conduct in the same. Uh, I'll, I will also elaborate. I would also mention uh, where you people are making mistakes along with my personal full reviews, uh, which are going to be observed uh, like your IELTS, this IELTS speaking test is going to be observed uh, on the following criteria. It is going to be examined. It is going to be checked on the following criteria. So you can even take a screenshot from this uh, if you want so far for yourself. Uh, like a fluency pronunciation, use a variety, uh, use a variety of words and grammatical range, uh, which we would also discuss uh, after the test, mock test, one by one. Yes. So who would like to come first and participate in the test? I would also give you bands and I would also leave a review, a short review. And I would also write uh, some of your minor points uh, where you are making so far. So who is going to come first and participate? Yes. Tell me for yourself. Yes, Shazad. Would you like to participate first? Okay. I'm going to ask you uh, the first question, uh, similar like an examiner, uh, you know, like a real exam, consider it an answer very well, right? Okay, so the first question for you is, um, what's your full name, please? My full name is Shazad Dek. You can call me my second name, Dek. Uh, may I see your ID card? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, today, one student mentioned, and I really appreciate it that uh, it was Faiza. She mentioned that when students give ID card, they should they should show also the you know a little bit respect, a little bit a formal and professional style of showing of giving ID card. And that is like uh, when you give ID card, you can uh, as I I'll, I'll always so, uh, say to you guys that you can say uh, why not here uh, yes sure why not here it is. Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. Directly, yes. Uh, do, do not. Uh, yes, sure. No. Yes. Say it. Talk. Say it. Talk. Come, say it. Yes. Yes, sure. Why not? It's here. Same like that. Is here not? Here it is. Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Yes. Yes, sure. All of you guys. Yes, sure. Why not? Why not? Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. Now, one student would say, here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. The boom form. Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. Now, the first response is going to impress examiner from your correct, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, speaking style, formal style, professional style, your personality, uh, having the kind of respect and honor for him. So it would attract definitely and impress uh, having a good influence on that. So we use, yes, sure. Now one student would say, uh, when giving ID card, uh, sometimes even students uh, stuck, the ID card stuck in their pockets and also sometimes disappear and they uh, find out, seek out. Anyhow, some students, if they say, uh, yes, yes. Now this is not fair. And if you say, why not? Now it is also like a very frankly, a friendly uh, kind of informal. But this part, uh, as a whole, if you say, yes, sure, why not? Here it is. So having more formal impression. Okay. The next question for you is, where are you from? I am from Pakistan. My home city is Islamabad. Hmm. It's the capital of pa Pakistan. It's very crucial part in our economy. No, no. Sure, sure. Hi, uh, just, yes, two two problems here you made. Uh, first, Take the name of small part, like small is Islamabad, if you are from Islamabad. Large is Pakistan, right? Like means, first the, take the name of city, right? If you want to say, you uh, mention your country name, right now you are currently in um, Bahrain. So within Bahrain, if you want to um, mention your country name, say 
I am from the capital of uh, Pakistan, that is Islamabad. In this way, I am from the uh, from Islamabad, that is the capital of Pakistan. That is more quite better, right? And uh, another thing, do not go in deepness. Like it is uh, famous, it is beautiful. It is uh, just say where are you from? Okay. Uh, do you work or study? I am doing work at uh, Island Gas Refinery. Good, good, very nice. Uh, currently, I'm doing work. Uh, currently, I do work. Uh, this is in present indefinite tense. We will discuss that. The tense answer must be given in the same tense. Where are you? Sorry, what do you work or study? Yeah, your, our answer should be, uh, yes, currently, I do work in the company. If you are not working, you can say, uh, I'm a housewife If the, for the females part. They can use like this. Uh, if you are studying, you can say, um, currently, meanwhile, I'm preparing myself for IELTS exam, or I was preparing myself for IELTS exam. But better answer uh, is for females, housewife, if you they don't perform any work. And for boys, you must say either work or study. Okay, good. Uh, focus on the tense and short answer. Part one means short answer. What was your major? Major means uh, what was your um, focus? Major focus or major criteria of your field so far? You know, well, major uh, for um, uh, well for uh, well for uh, island gas. Mm -hmm. So basically, our company work in find out the oil and gas. Mm -hmm. So that's the main major part is that one. Okay. Uh, the subject that you have read, uh, read so far at your uh, background, within your background in education, is that subject popular at your country? Uh, unfortunately, uh, this subject is not uh, popular in, con in my country because uh, in my country I have not any basic refinery. So that's why it's not in major and pops. If you could switch to another topic, what would it be? I would be like to one other specific topic. That one is uh, in in work refinery uh, because their job was very interesting for me. So I would like to change there. Yes. Now you can see grammatical accuracy. I have wrote, uh, I have written so far here, and the four number point, and uh, this point. Like sometimes question can also come from conditional sentence. Condition means conditional means which show conditions. Like it is starting from if, but this case happens very less, very less. Like in fifty exams, it can come once. And in Australia, this test is conducted in the last few days, 2023. And the question is from starting from if. Now, if the question is started from if, this is called conditional sentence. The first part is in could. The second part is in hood. So our answer, the very easy way I'm going to mention, our answer first part, which you uh, uh, shared could, it should be could. First part, it should be could. Second should be good in the same way. This is called the conditional sentence. Answer is in the same condition or in the different, right? Now, how can we answer? Let's see the question. This is called focus and grammatically accuracy, grammatical accuracy. If you could switch to another topic, what would it be? Now, if I could do so, if I could, not I would. If I could do so, if I could switch to another topic, it might be, or it would be definitely that rain and uh, refinery work that you mentioned so far, because, and then you would mention one reason, right? But could, would, should be correct. No grammatical mistake. Okay. Uh, your second question for you. Uh, would you change your subject? You had an uh, opportunity. Yes, in subject, I have many opportunities because sometimes we have worked just one, uh, one kerosene plant and sometimes laptop. 
So that's the I can say. Did you have change your subject? You had opportunity. Yes, sir. I have in my yes. Change, change, change Hezar. opportunity in my subject. Yes, sir. It I have in. Shazad, are you here? In, can you hear my voice clearly now? So can you hear? Oh, okay, now I can hear. Sorry, I made my laptop voice mistakenly. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, I can. I have an opportunity to change my uh, uh, change to would you change your so they're over mission link, so that's why I cannot read. Uh, please, can you repeat this question? Would you change your subject? You had an opportunity. Yes, sir. I have an opportunity, so I have to change my subject because I want to uh, trailer driver. So that's why I want to go there. Another field that is a trailer and transportation in Canada. So I ah, want to good enough. Part one. Okay, moving to part two question. Here, cue card is given to you, and you're supposed to talk for that for at least more than a minute. The question is describe a book you have never read but would like to read. This, the question is describe a book you have never read but would like to read. Tell me how well known it is. Why would you like to read? Why have you never read this? Before, why have you never read this before? Yes. Okay, sir. I want to now speak. Hmm. Can I speak now? Yes. In, um, I would like to share in my previous, uh, in my previous experience when I uh, wrote, when I wrote uh, many hmm. books. One, but one book, uh, one book is very close to my heart but unfortunately i have no work, uh, no time so that's why mm -hmm. i cannot uh, read that book that book uh, author name is muhammad javed uh, that book basically uh, related for business and they have one uh, they have several businessmen they have no any academic education but they are very mm -hmm. successful business businessmen in our country uh, so the uh, last year, when I want to buy that book, but online they are not available. Uh, so I have to plan. Uh, when I went, when I go to Pakistan, I buy this book. I will buy this book, and I want to read this book. Uh, that's a specific reason. I just want uh, that book. Uh, belong to that person. They have no any academic education and how to success in. Uh, business. So that's why uh, I like that book is uh, I like that book and that is very crucial part in my library but now till uh, unfortunately I did not read. Oh, good. I came on to part three discussion then I would later on give you a score and review. Do you do people read more nowadays? Unfortunately, no. Many people do not read uh, nowadays because uh, now we have to several opportunities. Sometimes we have to search out just online gadgets used. So and uh, so, I would uh, I would I would share my previous I would share my previous. Uh, okay. So, Next. Uh, yes. Good. Okay. Do you read before going to bed? Uh, nowadays, I, I I did not uh, read before bed because my job schedule is very tight. So that's why I I could not read. But a few years before when I was Pakistan, I had read around uh, nine times. Okay, good. Next question: Do you think electronic books will affect paper books? I think uh, it's very uh, it's very important question for me because uh, several times I think about uh, this point 
because mm. if we have to read hot copy uh, so that time i memorize history and whenever inside that book whatever inside the book but unfortunately nowadays we have to read when online books uh, so that is very effective and they have when uh, many bad effect in our lives because we have not memorized because uh, when i read the online in few seconds sometimes uh, we have to change mind and other things and sometimes we have not focus on just one topic so it's very effective on the real life okay do you like to read the traditional literature of your nation uh, uh, this question is very interesting for me because i love uh, traditional history and that's why when i pass my 10th standard uh, my uh, marks was very high mark in geographic so i would lo- I, i i love traditional books and uh, i will, i love to read traditional books and cultures the uh, culture the several things mm-hmm. okay good uh, today you got 5.5 in part 1 you got 1.5 few grammatical issues in part 2 you got 2.5 out of 5 ban in part 3 you got 1.5 because of uh two three grammatical mistakes again and also pronunciation must be improved i would comment um, and i would uh, affiliate the two of the rather uh fluency is not bad but at here i would pass three of the comments from my recent reviews uh, reviews from the students that uh, pronunciation it here uh, it doesn't mean that a person follow american or british accents or australian or canadian it means that words should be pronounced little bit more clearly more little bit in professional and edu- educational style like uh, if you mention this word ta talk i would like to talk about uh, and c a k uh, the little few words having following a uh, are you know uh, stressing syllable now it might be little bit unclear to uh, to you but if any word um, is having vowel then consonant sound and uh, like o and r o and c o and b uh, now these kind of words would be uh, stressed so far syllable must be stressed so far like now now look at here very easy example beautiful beautiful now at here in this word um, this is called sound study how to pronounce this word one word one person would say i saw a very beautiful scenery that was very nice but one would say i saw a very beautiful beautiful it was really very beautiful beautiful now stress and b stress and t stress, stress and f y because these are consonant 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 and the remaining words are letters are vowel 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 now if consonant is followed by vowel 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 are only five a e i o u those are clear to you now that previous word before vowel should be stress this is called sound pronunciation style right it would uh, make your pronunciation more clear for examiner and it would not seem like a, a, a kind of rough speaking rather it would seem very 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 educational one and very very professional one so my command for you to work in uh, your pronunciation by following this formula uh, to stress on the word if it is followed by any vowel a e i q stress the first word this is uh, st- and uh, uh, further speak normal that is fine in grammar uh, uh, be careful regarding the usage of tense especially in q card 2 uh, that was having little bit misery problems uh, that i felt so far relevant to the content is also your responsibility but grammatical problem your tense should be the tense which would be used in the question right and uh, in variety of words i would say that uh, what i have observed in variety of words you should target like uh, at least you know in each single question uh, 
besides part first, not part first, for part two and part three of IELTS speaking exam, you should use at least five to six different words, different, different words in the, uh, you know, in your answers, right? To have vast impression, to have more uh, good impression, to have standard impression, right? That you uh, have come on on English and you can speak in some other ways as well. Okay. So I hope this comment would help you. And if you couldn't understand, you can tell. You can ask. Yes, Kuratul uh, and Dilujini, who would like to participate? I can't. Remove the T. I can't, sir. Uh... Remove the T. Delete the T from N. Now say. No. I can, I can. Say I can. Can't. No, no, no. Say I can. Just I say can. it. Say, say it. I can. I can. Very good. I can. What is your full name, please? Jude Vasihiran Dilojani. Very nice. May I see your ID card? How will you answer to examiner? Uh, yes, I. Yes, yeah. Today I'm a strict examiner for all of you. Be careful regarding one single mistake. Okay. May I see your ID card? Answer me. How will you answer to examiner? Yes, sir. Uh... Yes. I hear it. Yes, I hear it is. Ah, yes, yes, sir. Yes, why not? So, Here it is. Yes, why not? Here it is. A professional, confidential, yes, and why not? Here it is. yes. Look, a professional, confidential, and formal response is yes. Why not? Here it is. With two hands or with one arm, you can also give it in this way. Yeah. Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. This is my business card. If you want, you can take it, right? Yes, sure. Why not business, right? You at that moment. Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. This is also fine, right? And you will give it. Okay. Um, where are you from? I am from Sri Lanka. No, 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 no. In Sri Lanka, you would be having a test. Tell me the name of a place where you are living. Capital... No, I am. I live in Mulaiti, mm. district Mulaiti. Good. Do you work or study? Uh, I work uh, in government mm. job. All right. Okay. Um, do you like celebrities? This question, uh, I can't. Mm. Do you like? Celebrities. I like celebrate. Do you understand yes, celebrities? Celebrate. Celebrities. Yes, means, yes. Uh, uh, actors, actress are famous personalities. Popular uh, one. Yes, I I like celebrate my birthday party. Okay. Who is your favorite celebrity? I, I don't uh, understand celebrity, sir. Celebrity means famous person in your country. Popular person who is known by everyone in Colombo, in Sri Lanka, in yes. your place. Yes. In your country, there is no famous person. Independently. No. Do you have any famous person in your country? Popular person. 
President. President, right? This is right. He's popular. <laughs> Yes, I like president. Good. What is his name? Ranil Vikram Singh. Yes, good. You can say Ranil Vikram Singh. I like him and he is my favorite celebrity. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Would you like to, your brother is living in France? Yes, I like. Okay. Who do you like? Uh, any uh, foreign celebrity? Foreign celebrity. I like for foreign celebrity. Celebrate. Foreign means. Abroad. Good. Do you like foreign celebrity? Any foreign celebrities? Yes, I like a foreign celebrity, Olympic. And, uh, good. Very good. Uh, okay. Sports. Would you would you like to become a celebrity in the future? Yes, I I like to become a celebrity in future. Ah. You are requested, I, uh, Delugini, to take a screenshot of this page. Again, I would take your interview, okay? Oh, in the same questions. Please, uh, you are in the separate females and boys, they have several separate groups. This is for the purpose to have discussion with them. I haven't seen a single message from you. I don't like and appreciate it, right? How message always try to have one day means one message should be from your side uh, regarding your level, either zero level, either 50%, whatever, just, share your report listening reading along with each module here i am facing trouble also share because this is your right and this is uh, this is my responsibility to fulfill it but if i would be unaware so because of having no message and report from your side uh, then you would not improve okay yes yeah. it's good uh, now you can answer very well but if you uh, come to the point like other students are doing so far so you would also improve uh, Faiza Fahim, are you here? Yes, sir. Okay. Easy one. What is your full name? My full name is uh, Faiza Fahim. You may call me Faiza. All right. May I see your ID card? Yes, sure. Why not? Here it is. Where are you from? I'm from Islamabad. Uh, it is the capital of Pakistan. Enough. Do you work or study? Uh, I finished my study recently in fashion and textile designing, but this time I'm running my online shopping business. I have studied my, I have finished, I have finished. Okay. okay. Now, understand the difference between all of you, understand the difference between and and but. This person said, Faiza Fahim, that I have recently completed or uh, finished my study in business or something she shared, but currently I'm working here. If if you are finished in study and you are working anyhow related to your study right now, you should use and because and means two same, same ideas, either positive ideas or the negative, but same, same. And but means one is positive, another is another idea, and another is negative, are negative and positive idea. For instance, you can say, I have completed my study, but currently I am free, means no work, no study. Then you can, but if you are working, you should say and. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Do you like traveling? Yes, I like traveling. Most of the time, I travel to Islamabad. Okay. Uh, do you want to go back there again? Yes, I really want to go back again uh, for uh, shopping for restaurants. All right. What kind of tourist uh, places do you usually like? Mm. 
Mari is uh, one of the best tourist place. So I uh, really want to no sorry. What kind of tourist want... places do you oh, like? Okay. Not uh, which which I place? Like, I like to um uh, to like I uh, I like to uh, oh God, sorry, sir. I like green uh, places, hilly areas. I like cold places. I like green places. Further, I would like to mention those areas should be having more facilities. In addition, I would also add that such areas uh, should be very clean. I would definitely like to go to such kind of places. Hmm? Yes, because it is asking what kind of tourist places. Yes. Okay. What is the best way to save money while traveling? And the best way. And... The best way to save money while traveling uh, with family, mm -hmm. because when we uh, go with uh, go with your family, uh, all the all the expense uh, to all, all the expenses will be paid by family, huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, fine. Okay, come with your skill card. Describe a website that you often use. Describe a website that you often use. Tell me what type of website. Describe a web website. Yeah. What type of website it is, how you found and out about it. What does it allow you to do? Uh, so website, uh, like... Uh... Google or uh, like it? Then? Yes, yes, exactly. Google type. Mm. Google, WhatsApp, uh, YouTube. Uh, these are websites? Mm. No. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. On Google, uh, if you use uh, these, uh, yes, you can mention. Sir, can you please repeat the question? Recently. Uh, three hours ago, you can mention, I found a website on the name of iles.blog.com. So can you uh, please repeat your question? Yes, describe a website that you on. often use. Tell me which, what type of website, how you found, what does it allow you to do, and why do you find it is useful? Yes. Um, most of the time I use website uh, to watching uh, dramas and movies and uh, I, I usually uh, I usually use the uh, Dil website uh, to watch uh, dramas and movies um, it is very uh, fast and uh, I always use this website hmm. and uh, another purpose like uh, uh, read something or uh, so I uh, choose another website, which is the uh, com. 